if you can get yourself into a nice, quiet, peaceful state, should you bother digging up negativity? Or is that actually counterproductive in creating more trouble than it's worth? That's what we're gonna take a look at today. Coming up. All right, so somebody emailed me this question the other day. It goes something like this. I experience great peace when I just quiet my mind. But when I focus on ridding myself of negativity, all hell breaks loose. And I end up in more trouble than ever before. So what's up with that? And what should I do? That's a great question. Should you let go of the negativity? Absolutely. Yes. And here's why. Now, if you can experience like a lot of drama and heavy feelings when you put your attention on negativity, where do those feelings come from? They don't just show up magically out of thin air. They're inside of you already and they just get triggered when you look at those things that you don't like, that negativity. So you gotta take responsibility for it. The only reason why they're there is because sometime in the past, you suppressed your feelings or you made a decision that put that negativity and those feelings in there. And that's your consciousness that you create. So you gotta take responsibility and let that stuff go. Now here's the benefit of doing it. You see, while it's nice to just get quiet, you have to keep working at getting quiet. And when you get quiet, inevitably you fall out of it and then you have to go back to it and so on. But when you focus in on the negativity that you have inside and you let that go, and when you let it go the way that we do here on this channel, you're letting it go permanently. And so by permanently letting go of that negativity, you free yourself to be quiet more permanently, 24 seven. And see, the mind, it's like an iceberg. And just like an iceberg, you have a little bit of a tip that sticks out of the water. And that's what we call our conscious mind our thoughts and feelings that we're aware of in the moment. Whereas underneath the surface on that iceberg, there's a greater mass, like 90% of it's underneath the surface. And to our mind, that's what we call the subconscious. And that's our negativity. When we start shining a light there, it starts coming up. And because it's so big and deep in that subconscious, it can seem overwhelming and there's some pretty deep stuff in there. So again, when we take responsibility, we start bringing that stuff up and letting it go. We let it go permanently. And therefore the peace that we're all seeking, we just have, it's our natural state. So that's why it's valuable to let the negativity go. Now, one thing I want to point out is, by nature, we tend to be pleasure junkies. Like if we had a choice to hang out in quiet versus hanging out with all of our negativity and all of our harsh feelings, which would we choose? We choose the thing that's more pleasurable, more nicer, right? And this is a trap that a lot of us on a spiritual path end up falling into without realizing it. Call it floating above our garbage. See, we get nice and quiet and we want to hold on to that quiet. And we get this sense of, hey, don't rock the boat. I'm nice and peaceful. I don't want to hang around those kind of people. They disturb me. They're going to pull me out of the quiet. Or I don't want to experience those types of situations. Uh-uh. But see, if we take that approach, our growth is super, super slow. Whereas if we just dive into that stuff that's inside of us, 
with an attitude of, you know what, I'm pulling this up. I don't care what it takes. I'm getting courageous. I'm going to get it done. Our growth and our ability to be quiet and be ourselves, our authentic self, accelerates a thousandfold. So that's another great reason to take on the attitude and the conviction of, I'm going to let go of this negativity. Now, if you're someone who's experiencing difficulty when you're looking at the negativity, like it's overwhelming, it just comes up like in a storm and you get lost in it, here's the reason why you're having difficulty with it. And it's simple. You don't like it. You don't like your feelings. You're resisting them. So you're pushing down on them instead of letting them go. And that's why they're not going so easily because of that resistance. And sometimes we also have this feeling like I'm the only one with these problems. I'm the only one who's walking around with these feelings and I'm the only one who's having difficulty with this. You're not alone. We all have this negativity. We all have the same insecurities, the same problems. We all share this problem of the ego. And within all of us is the deepest negativity you could ever imagine. The type of negativity that's like watching The Exorcist. You know, deep within us is like these demons, like, bah! right? We get enraged sometimes, hateful, almost murderous, or we get into states of terror and so on, you know, of the worst kind. Sometimes it comes up with when we least expect it. So, you know, if we could, we would really would spin our head around 360 degrees. And looking at that, we may want to take the position of well, being like an exorcist, like out foul demons, be gone. But that's the wrong approach. That's like fighting with it, going to battle against it. And that'll also make it difficult. So what we got to do is take a different approach. An approach of love. An approach of just acceptance, surrendering to it. I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'm going to show you how when you take this approach, it really takes all the drama out of it and makes the whole thing super easy. And then you'll become an expert at letting go of the negativity. It's really, really easy. You get onto this incredible wave of positive momentum and your growth to achieve what it is that you're looking for. Having that quiet mind permanently and expressing your authentic, powerful self. It's easy and it comes to you fast. All right, so let's go ahead and do it. So think about something that really pisses you off or something that you just don't want to look at. You just want to avoid at all costs. All right, just think about something. It could be a feeling, could be a situation, could be a person. And just think about that. And feel those feelings. Just go ahead and allow yourself to be open to those feelings. And do you notice those feelings? It may be a little bit distant right now, but the more you look at it, the more it'll come up and you'll start to feel like if, you know, if it's a person or situation, you'll start to feel that rage, wanting to separate yourself, wanting to destroy sometimes. Now, where do these feelings come from? It didn't just come out of thin air. It's already inside of you. 
You see that? Now you also may be noticing a reaction to it, like, oh, oh wait, oh, I don't like that. Get that away from me. And in a way, pushing it back down. You notice that? So let's turn that around. Now, let's just keep it simple. Can you see that you're disapproving of that negativity that's inside of you now? And by disapproving of it, is that going to make the negativity go away? Of course not, because disapproval is negativity. So you're feeding more negativity into that negativity. It's like throwing a log on the fire. And who's doing that? Who's disapproving of it? You are. So you're in charge here. And you can make a decision since you're in charge. Could you let go of disapproving of that negativity? And could you let go of disapproving that negativity even more? And could you let go of disapproving of it even more? And could you let go disapproving of it even more? And could you let go disapproving of it even more? And even more. And even more. And could you let go disapproving of it even more? And even more. And could you let go disapproving of it even more? And even more. And even more. And notice how you feel. You feel a little bit lighter? More peaceful? And look at what you accomplished here. See, you weren't focused on getting quiet. You were looking at the negativity, letting it go, and look at the result. By letting it go, you naturally get lighter, happier, quieter, more yourself. Now, could you let go disapproving of the negativity even more? And could you let go of wanting to be separate from it? Instead of pushing it away, allow yourself to feel it. Now, if you weren't resisting the feeling, who's to say it's a good feeling or a bad feeling? It's just a sensation, just a phenomena in this moment. That's all. Now, just observe it without judging it, without making it right or wrong. Just observe the feeling and be with it. And could you allow yourself to feel it? And feel it some more. And feel it some more. And could you surrender to it? And could you give it some love and approval? And could you give it some more love and approval? And even more. And could you give it even more love and approval? And even more. And even more. And you see, it's just a decision. And all you have to do is say yes. Say yes to love. Now, can you just love the negativity and love it even more and say yes to love? Let love take over now. In fact, can you surrender to love? Just let love take over. Let love carry you all the way to total mastership. 
and carry you all the way to achieving everything it is that you're looking for. Let love do it for you. Can you surrender to love? And can you surrender to love even more? And even more. And even more. Now notice what you're experiencing. And notice how simple this is. It really is this simple. Just notice the difference. What once seemed complicated now is super, super easy. And that's really how it works. But it takes practice. Because as you know, we have a habit of doing it all the hard way fighting with our feelings and judging ourselves, judging our feelings. And you see where that gets you. But we keep on doing that out of habit. So what it takes is practice, a determination, and a consistency to get really, really good at it. Now the good news is I've got an opportunity for you to get really, really good at this. I got a new class coming up that's going on for six weeks called Love Yourself and Let the World Have It Your Way. And it's all about taking this simple approach, this elegant approach of love and riding this wave of love, letting it do all the work and experiencing the ease and the speed of getting the real results that you're looking for. Having that quiet mind being in that place of total harmony, having abundance, love will do it all very, very fast. So I've got a link below in the description that will give you all the details about it and will show you how simple it is to join in on this class. So you can check it out. And most of all, just keep on practicing this. Let love take over. Let love rule your life. And you will be a ruler of life. So really, keep it up. And I'll see you later. Have a lovely day.